So, now suppose if I uh, if I gave you this zero sum game simple zero sum game just with two strategies for each player. So, z, suppose z 1 and z 2 these are the components of the column players mixed strategy y 1 and y 2 are the co components of the row players mixed strategy ok. So, now what I will do is uh, I will plot this as if so remember uh, let us look at this from the point of view of the row player first remember for the from the point of view of the row player I want to find a y that minimizes the the maximum uh, over z of y transpose a z and that is actually equal to the minima minimum over y of max over j y transpose a j ok. So, we want to look at this particular thing we want to just we are just looking at this minimization over y of the max over j of y transpose a j. So, what we will do is let us plot out for each value of j y transpose a j ok. So, let us take for example, for j equal to 1. So, for j equal to 1 that means, uh, I am looking at column 1. Hmm. I want to plot y transpose a j as a function of y. Hmm. So, call, keeping this uh, column, I want to plot this as a function of y. So, what is y transpose a for j equal to 1? So, it is 3 y 1 plus minus 2 y 2, right? Keeping j equal to 1. So, this expression here is equal to, so for j, so let me write this for j equal to 1. So, let us write out this expression. This expression for j equal to 1 is 3 y 1 minus y 2 and for j equal to 2, what is it? It is 0 y 1 plus y 2. Okay. Now, we want to, uh, since there are two parameters here y 1 and y 2, so we will need two, two axes to plot this, but a simpler thing to do is let us, we know also that y 1 and y 2 they together sum to 1, right. So, uh, let us just plot them, uh, plot 1 at a time. So, we can just take it like this. So, let us take this point here, let us plot everything uh, as a function of let us say y 2. So, this is y 2 equal to 0 this point this is y 2 equal to 1. Equivalently, this is y 1 equal to 1 and y 1 equal to 0. Hmm? So, I am going to now uh, substitute y 1 equal to 1 minus y 2. So, so, now can you tell me how does this look? So, at y 1 equal to 1 or y 2 equal to in short y 2 equal to 0, you are starting from 3 and at um, y 2 equal to 1, you end up at minus 1. So, let me just mark these out 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, ok. So, this is the line for j equal to 1. So, I what have I plotted here? I have plotted y transpose a 1 hmm? ok. Similarly, for j equal to 2. Now, j equal to 2 the line will start from where? From 0 and go to 1 right. So, it starts from 0 and ends up at 1 is fine ok. So, now tell me what is the max of max over j of y transpose a? What is this? Yeah, going to be the upper envelope here, right? Just this. This portion is max over j of y transpose a j. Okay, and now what is the y that minimizes max over j of y transpose a j? It would be the one that it would be the place where this red line has has its minimum. Okay, so that's actually this. That is exactly this one here. So, this is your this is your y star. 
y star and what is it equal to can someone calculate and tell me yeah so it's 2 by 5 y1 equal to 2 by 5 and y2 equal to 3 by 5 let's do the same thing here now for the column player so what by the way what does this tell us now what is this y star it's a security strategy and the part of the and the component of the saddle point corresponding to the row player okay all right so let's now do the same thing for the column player okay for the column player again i will plot this with respect to z uh, so this is let's say it's convenient to take i think z1 equal to 0 here z1 equal to 1 in other words z2 equal to 1 and uh, z2 equal to 0 okay and now can you tell me what the again let me mark these out here so, so let's say this says 3 2 1 0 minus 1 okay so tell me for, uh, for uh, let's say for the ith row that means for i equal to 1 the row the first row let's say for the first row what is uh, what is going to be the so i should write out this expression here so now what we want to do is here we want to do max over z in z min over i a z i okay so let's take i equal to 1 and let's plot a z 1 okay as a function of z 1 as a function of z 1 so what are we looking at then we are looking at this this row i equal to 1 means this row so it's uh, okay so z 1 equal to 0 it's going to be at 3 z 1 equal to 1 it's going to be at 0 okay so you have from 3 to uh, 0 then z1 equal to 1 then for let's take for i equal to 2 so this is i equal to 1 so in short this is a z 1 this was j equal to 2 y transpose a now let's do i equal to 2 now so what is a z 2 so it starts from minus 1 and ends at 1 right so you have something like this okay so this is i equal to 2 in short and now what is the max over z uh, sorry okay what is the min over i of a z i the lower envelope now so that is going to be this one okay and f and now what is the max over z the maximizing z that will be this okay someone tell me what is it so z1 equal to 1 by 5 and uh, z2 equal to 4 by 5 is this correct or is it the other way around yeah, yeah i plotted everything with respect to z2 so it should have started from 0 to 3 no so take this as z so this is z2 equal to 0 this is z z2 equal to 1 this is z1 equal to 1 and uh, see this didn't look like 1 by 5 to me in spite of my <laughs> good drawing so okay thick ah, so now here's the main point now okay so can someone tell me what do you think what should be these two heights what are these heights? 
they should be equal and why are they equal because they are actually because of the min max theorem right because max, they are max min and min max of the same thing okay so these two are actually equal and they tell you the value of the game is this clear so this is this is the this here is min max and this here is the max min You can actually do this in any number of dimensions, but if you want to do it manually, obviously you need, uh, you know, uh, it, you need basically two pure strategies per player, okay, because otherwise you will not be able to do this. Now, now, however, you can in some cases um, work with just one player having two pure strategies, okay. So, 